Oh, welcome back. The new season of True Detective has the perfect setting for a spooky mystery. Northern Alaska, just as the region dips into darkness for weeks on end. Okay, if you're not hooked already, let's add this. How about Jodie Foster to the mix? The two-time <laughs> Oscar winner plays the police chief of a small town gripped by a shocking disappearance. And she's on the case, whether she likes it or not. Huh? You sent me to Ennis. Actually, no, you... you you appointed me to Ennis. You gave me this nice office in this lovely ex-dental building so that I could handle the unique issues that arise in an isolated community during the sunless season. I'm here to serve. You loved it. You loved, loved shooting it. Loved that. every minute of it. Okay. And this is nothing. It's cold here, but it's nothing uh, compared to Iceland. Iceland was, what, freezing and dark all the time? It was. Well, it got yeah. dark mostly from, you know, early December on okay. to the beginning of March. But, yeah. But you enjoyed Is this true? This is the first time you've played a detective since Silence, Silence of the Lambs? Lambs? Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah. And I'm, is I'm it... sure I avoided it a little bit because, you know, I got a lot of a lot of scripts sent my way that were sort of like Silence of the Lambs. So I avoided it for a while. How many people walk up to you and do the whole <laughs> Clarice and the fava beans? I love it. Whole... I love you it. You do? Yeah, I like real... it. Why? Why? I think it just feels like... It feels like somehow what we did the, the, was meaningful, and then it entered into the collective unconscious. I think that's I think that's a good thing for us because it was it was a film that had a lot of heart. Um, True Detective, this show, people are crazy about it. Yeah. What drew? What made you decide that you wanted to do this? Well, it's a great script. Yeah. So that was first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And um, then I met Issa Lopez, our director, um, who is you know has such vision, funny, first one on the dance floor, uh -huh. flexible, you know, prepared, just so intelligent and emotionally intelligent. So. That was a no-brainer. Well, it's a home run, this one for sure. You know what I love about you? say so many cool things. But yeah. one of the things I loved was you said that your 50s, you described it not as a mess, but not yeah. great. Yeah. Your 50s were kind Confusing. of a mess. Confusing. Yes. But your 60s, yeah. where you are today, yeah. is a place where you feel like your heart can rest, your home. Describe what's yeah. happening. I don't want to take credit for it, though, because I think it's some kind of hormone or something that got injected into my system where suddenly, like, the day I turned 60 was, you know, one of the best days of my life. And Why? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just feel like suddenly nothing really mattered, and I, everything was a bonus, and I was just happy and content, and I wasn't competing with my old self, and um, I didn't have... I had no expectations for what was happening, and uh -huh. I was ready for what was going to come. Did you, oh, when, well, not always, when did you start feeling comfortable in your own skin, like being yourself? Well, I don't know, because that's a daily thing, right? Yeah. Like, how is today? So, yeah. so I guess, you know, you just have to hopefully you get more, more good days than bad. But, um, you know, it was, it is weird growing up as a public figure. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't recommend it for anybody. I think it's a tough road, and um, especially when you start so young, you start when you're, you know, three years old. So it's, it's a long road of figuring out, like, who you are and who is your job and what part of you is people, your job right. and all that stuff. Did you ever, since you did, I mean, you've been doing this since you're three yes. years old, were there times throughout your life where you said, you know what, uncle, on this career, oh, yeah. I, you've thought about it. Every week. Every, Every week, week I think about now. it. I'm like, wait, I should have been, wait, why, why am I not? Um, and I'm sure there's, you know, because I was always like, well, I should have gone into academia and... I should have written books. And, and then I'm sure that there's a college professor out there that's like, yeah, I should have been an actor. <laughs> been an I should have been an actor. If you were in academia, what would you have studied? What would have been your lane? Do you um, think? Well, my, 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 my thing that I studied was African-American and African literature. So that was my area of expertise, I guess. Whatever expertise you have as an undergrad. Um, whatever it was, it would have been about books because that's my first love, you know, is words and books. Speaking of love, do you know who adores you? Who? Jamie Lee Curtis. Ah! Had her on yesterday. She's she, my bestie. She couldn't. That's what she said. Uh, yeah. She goes, wait, Jody's on tomorrow? Are you kidding? Yeah. So she was so thrilled. I didn't realize the connection. Yes, we she, have a group. It's a group of us. There's, yes. You know, six of us, and we do everything together. So she, I asked her if she had a question for you, so I have an okay. envelope. Oh, she actually left an and envelope. And that is her You know it's her handwriting. Yes. This looks like an Oscar envelope, but okay. 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 It says she put a kiss on yes. it, so it's nice. real. She said, this is sweet, what are you most proud of Alex's new film? A lock. So uh, a she, look. Yeah, a look. Yes. Um, Alex is your wife, and she, yes. she said, I want her to have a chance also to gush about oh, her. Oh. Because she said, I think oh. that's important. So. Well, it's uh, right now it's going to be premiering at Sundance tomorrow, mm -hmm. and um, it's an extraordinary documentary short. Uh, I guess I'm most proud of the fact that um, 
Alex and Alok are part of making people better instead of worse. I think it's about freedom and about being your best self and being free. And, and uh, I have a lot to learn from it. So I'm excited for her and I can't wait to be there by her side and, and to have it not be about me. That's great. <laughs> Isn't it fun to brag about somebody you love? It really is. It's the best. It it's is. The, that's what Jamie did and that's what you're doing. Yes. But, I, we get to brag about Chris as well. Yeah. Her husband. <laughs> yeah. I want to brag about Chris, <laughs> about how awesome he is. Wow. Well, Jody, thank you so much. We are thank so you. happy that you came to see us. You're going to stick around on the fourth hour and visit okay. with me and Jenna. There's more. Okay, I'm good. Not going anywhere. True Detective, uh, Night Country. It airs Sunday nights on HBO. So Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.